One day, Edward was talking to Trevor when Douglas came by. Edward, stop gossiping in the sun when there's work to be done, said Douglas. Later, Edward was pulling the line of trucks when he saw Douglas, so he spoke to Douglas again. Me and Trevor are old friends, and you know, you two actually have a lot in common. I? Asked Douglas. And what would that be, eh? Scrap. Hey, don't mention that word. It makes me wheels wobble. It does the same to Trevor. He was being sent to the scrapyard and the vicar and I saved him. Even so, the Fat Controller does need a nurse steam engine. Aye, and quickly. That night, Douglas was pulling a train to where only the diesels work when he heard a... Aye, who's that? A voice came. Are you the Fat Controller's engine? Aye. And I'm proud of it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm Oliver. I'm here with my blank and toad. We ran out coal and water. And we're escaping. Escaping? From what? Scrap. Oliver replied. Douglas shivered. But then he remembered Edward's story about Trevor. I'll be glad to help you. But you'll have to look as if you're ready for scrap. The drivers and firemen worked too, writing scrap all over Oliver and Toad. I can't turn around. I'll have to go tender first. They were going so nicely when they were stopped. Hmm. A great western engine and a brake van too. You can't take these, said the foreman. But they're all for us, said Douglas's driver. See for yourself. The foreman looked all over. Hmm, seems in order. All right, be off then. They finally arrived home. Oliver said, Goodbye. And, Thank you. and Douglas left. Later, Douglas told the Fat Controller about Oliver, and he happily let Oliver stay. Now you could find Oliver working on the Little Western, which is what they called it, with Duck. And he's as grateful as an engine could be. Thank mm -hmm. you.